Hello everyone, today I am going to be teaching you how to make a voting system and this voting system is so, uh, is mainly for if you want to make endings for your camping game so uh, I will also show you how to do the voting system and this voting system works with uh, as many uh, as many uh, types of maps or uh, Things to choose, or you don't. It can be three things you can choose. I'm just going to be doing two. So yeah, this is okay. Anyways, let's just get started. So the first thing we we need to do is make our UI. So caps lock. Okay, so let's make my UI. I sometimes get a bit quiet when I'm making UI. So let's do this. Okay, now we can. Now let's make the t title. So let's do that. Okay, let's do that. So this will be our title. So we're going to name this title, or actually, let's name this status. Okay, so. Now we want to make our buttons. So, okay. Okay, so let's make the buttons. Okay. Okay, let's do that. So, let's let's name this one good. And let's name the other one bad. So okay, let's do that. So now we have a good but button and a bad button. And what should we? Uh, so I'm thinking of calling the good button being useful button, and then the bad one saying use list button creative am I right okay anyways let's actually set that to the top and then okay now we can just okay let's do that like I said I'm a little quiet when I'm making you I'm trying to concentrate okay Okay, so let's just do zero votes, and let's just call this votes. And now let's just copy and paste this in the other button. So now let's just say status here, and let's actually um, make this bold. Okay, so now we got our status, our good button, and our bad button. Like I said, this is mainly for if you, camping games if you want to add ending or if you want to add multiple endings using the voting system some people requested me doing that so I'm going to be doing that okay so now we will go to replicated storage you can organize this a little bit you will just have to change some lines of code so for, so we uh, need one replicated uh, one remote event sorry okay we're going to ca call this vote we're going to need a string value called voting status we're going to need a bool value called voting on and we're going to need two integer values or int values um, one's going to be called good and one's going to be called bad these are just these will check how much votes these have so if you have more than two buttons you will have to add more than two buttons how yeah okay so the voting on will um, We'll make it toward. We'll toggle if this will be shown or not. The voting status is what this top part is going to say, and the vote will will be when the when we have our player voting, so it, our local script can talk to a a regular script. Anyways, I think that's all we need um, for this for replicate storage. 
And now let's add in a local script into our frame. Okay, didn't say local script. Okay. So let's okay, so let's do local good. Let's do good equals give now replicate source that good. Let's do local bad equals give now replicate source that bad. That's hard to say really fast. So local voting on equals give now replicate source that voting on voting Voting on local status equals game dot game dot ready put storage dot status voting status. As you can see, I'm just doing the game dot replicate storage stuff, and then finally local votes equals game dot replicate storage of vote. So now we got that. So we can just do script dot parent dot good. Dot mouse button one click connect function. You should probably uh, if you should know this and that this is the event that when the good when our button is clicked. So I'm not going to do variables for this for this part. So I'm not because we already have a variable called good and same with bad and state is plus it's easy or you don't have to do variables. I just recommend. Okay, anyways. Now we can do, oh, I almost forgot, this is also important, so local chosen, we'll just, uh, let's just not put a value there, that way it sets no, this will make it towards, you can, um, change your answer, so, let's do, if chosen doesn't equal good, then, okay, so, we can do, game dot replicated storage dot vote fire server let's just do chosen and then good so what this does is this will be what we've previously selected and this is what we have selected so if this is set to no then we will not have a previously selected so okay so let's see okay I think Think, oh yeah, I almost forgot. And now we just do chosen equals good. The reason why we don't do it before is that way uh, we, we we don't have a previous if it's our first time selecting, so we want to have one saying negative one. So now we just copy and paste this for the bad. So bad, bad, and bad. Okay, there we go. So now you want to make a while loop. So while wait do, so we will just do script dot parent dot status dot text dot text equals status status dot value. So now we can and before that let's just do script dot parent dot visible equals um voting on dot value. Okay, so now we do script dot parent dot good and then dot the vote vote which is the text here dot text equals um good dot value dot dot and we can just do votes so let's co let's copy and paste this for the bad okay so bad bad okay so I believe that's all we need for the local script so now let's move on to the server script. Okay, let's just call it this main. Now uh, you would act like this is your. Just pretend that this is your story script or. Yeah, okay. So now we can do game.replicate.source.vote.onclient.onserver event connect function or player and previous and chosen. Okay. So if you do not know how remote events work, the reason why we have player before these stuff is because now this is the person who's firing it. So we have our player variable. We can track who did it, but honestly we don't need it. But you have to keep it there, on otherwise it will think this is the player variable if you don't have if this is the first variable for this. Anyways, yeah. Okay. Let's do game.replicate storage dot um, 
and we can do brackets we can just do chosen dot value equals actually what we should do is let's do local um let's just do let's do votes here let's do votes equal okay so we can just do that so let's just do votes equals votes plus one and let's copy and paste that and let's call this previous and we can just actually um okay so we can do okay so that now we have that let's just do an if statement so if previous doesn't equal nil then we have this that way it can detect if we have previously selected one and we changed our answer so if this is not equal to nil that means we're changing our answer so we can just do local previous and we can just do previous um let's just call this brief so brief equals pre minus one okay so now if we got that okay let's do let's just set this to true that way we can see if this is working so if i do this correctly then it should work let's see what happens okay i don't what okay so i fixed the problem um well i put dot value i did not put dot value here um uh, that was what's causing the error so just put votes dot value in the previous dot value so now it's working okay so now we have our button working so okay so now we have it working so okay so and the reason why this is not showing up is because uh, our we don't have anything for our status yet so now let's work let's work on the using thing so let's do let's just wait 10 to make sure the player is there let's do wait five actually so we can do for i equals let's do 15 seconds so if you do not know how for loops it works uh, this type of for loop which you probably should this is the starting and this is the finish and this is the interval we do negative one because we're counting down okay anyways let's do um game that replicated storage dot voting status dot value equals i dot dot and we can do um seconds left to choose and then we of course we gotta do the wait one otherwise it will do it automatically okay let's see and we can do okay here's the part that's going to get a little advanced you probably never some of you probably have never seen this function before but i i'm going to do it this way in case you're doing more than two options but okay so let's do so we can do local vote so we can do local vote equals and then we're going to create a table and inside that table we're going to put all of our integers so we're going to put our voting integers so for me i would do game record kit storage dot good don't put dot value put the object so game record kit storage dot bad okay so now we got our table now here's the tricky part so we're going to uh, use a function called table dot sort and what table dot sort is it will sort it into a specific way depending on how you want it to be sorted i guess so the first thing of course we do our votes and then we're going to need to create a function so we will create our function okay so inside our function we will use variables i'm just going to do a and b so we're going to use return and then a dot value is greater than b dot value so if you do not know what this means is we're going to return uh what positions they should be so the yeah, a is the, is what the four and b is i pretend this is first place and this is second place so if second place is 
so if second place is um greater than the first place then it will go in front of it and it'll keep doing that stuff so yeah um it's kind of tricky but this is how you do it this if you want to be sorted by least to greatest you can just do less than or, but i want to do greatest to least so it's greater than okay so we can do local chosen equal vote and we can just do one the reason why we're not using a string is because we need we can just use a number so this will take the first variable which will be the greatest value so it'll pretend this good is the greatest value so we so one will be this first part of the table so we can just do if show if chosen equals and we can actually let's do dot name so if chosen equals um good then and the reason why we do dot name instead of dot value is that way we know that we will turn it into a string so if it was our good then we would do good and if it was our bad it would return bad okay so let's just print good ending okay and then we can just do else um if you yeah so we get if you have more you can just do else if chosen equals bad and then you would keep doing that stuff until and the, but if you if you have only two options you can just do else so we can just print bad ending so now oh i almost forgot okay what we do need to do is make it visible so we can just do game dollar of okay source out voting on dot value equals true and then we can just and now we can just after the for loop we can just set that to false to make it not visible okay let's see what happens shall we okay so now we have our countdown let's get the good ending or we can get the bad ending I don't know which one should I do I should do the I want to do something useful okay I want to use this useful button okay so now we got the good ending so okay if you look at my console or output then you would see good ending for me um you can okay so and if we did bad okay let's do something useless okay um let's wait and waiting and waiting and we got bad ending oh no because we did the useless thing okay so if you do not know how to do the endings just do um i'm just going to comment good ending goes good ending part of story goes here and then we can just do um that bad ending part of the story goes here so um that's pretty much how you do this voting system uh, th that determines the endings i hope you enjoyed this video and you can comment down below if you want have any suggestions um so see you next time see you later bye